Hi, I'm David Lee from Base Boss, and today we're talking about the power requirements to run the various Base Boss systems and subwoofers. When you're running one of our big subwoofers, ZV28 or SSP218, we recommend that you have a 20 amp circuit for each cabinet. Um, a 15 amp circuit will do um, because the 15 amp circuits will be enough power to run the sub. However, if you have a 20 amp circuit, you can also power additional top boxes with that. Uh, you can put a ZV28 and up to two of the AT212, DV12, um, MFLA, uh, or any of the smaller boxes on a single 20 amp circuit. Now this is assuming that that circuit isn't being shared with a refrigerator, uh, a fan, uh, a moving headlight, that kind of thing. Um, this is hopefully a dedicated 20 amp circuit for sound. You can actually run on less, but we always like to suggest that you have excess capacity for those extreme draw moments when you hit that special note uh, that really puts the uh, strain on the system. Um, and you will be nowhere near any trouble. You'll be able to sustain your system's operation without tripping any breakers if you do that. For smaller subwoofers, the single driver subwoofers, which is SSP-118, um, DJ-18, BB-15, um, and VS-21, they can be run two on a 20 amp circuit, as well as those same tops that you can run with the double driver subwoofers. Uh, the amplifiers are roughly half the current draw of the big 4,000 watt amplifiers. So simply each driver is half of a 20 amp breaker. The, the technical math is roughly half of that. So five amps uh, for a single driver sub, 10 amps for a double driver sub is safe enough. But for those extreme system things, if you're really pushing your system, you'll want to have 20. Um, we've never had issues when you have a 20 amp circuit available for a double driver sub. Um, if you haven't got a whole lot of excess power, um, just get as close as you can. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to run on 10 to 15 amps for a double driver sub, um, but bear in mind that uh, they are able to draw quite a bit um, momentarily, short, short term. Uh, they have a current limiter in them, so all of the amps do. Uh, so they won't draw more than 16 and a half amps long term, so it will always pull back. That's why you can fairly well operate on a uh, 15 amp circuit, but we, like I said, we suggest that you have a little extra. The tops are all relatively low draw, uh, so you don't have to concern yourself with adding one top or two tops with one or two subwoofers on a circuit. The Kraken is a special case. It is a four driver sub, which means it's set up to, to be connected to two 20 amp circuits. It has two 4,000 watt amps in it. And in order to make it feasible to be connected in normally available circuits, even though the cabinet won't fit into certain buildings that have those kinds of circuits mostly. Uh, if you do need to run it, you can. It's just easier to have two 20 amp circuits connected to the cabinet to power it than it is to demand that you have a 30 or bigger circuit available in every venue you go into. So that was a decision that was made um, just for, this, for the simplicity of operation. So uh, every two big woofers is one. 20 amp circuit recommended.